Mine Expo 2012 is presented by Joy Global. Joy Global, worldwide leader in products and services for surface and underground mining. The Caterpillar booth at Mine Expo 2012 attracted large numbers of visitors. After its acquisition of Bucyrus, Caterpillar can now call itself a true mining full-line player. And yet, the American company envisages even greater growth potential and is taking to the railroads with its first ever locomotive. With its SD70 ACE diesel locomotive, Caterpillar is aiming for a market share at the end of the raw materials processing chain. Balforum 24 TV spoke to Thomas J. Savage. This particular locomotive is presented here as part of the end-to-end -end solutions that Caterpillar is presenting. They have equipment here that uh, digs the ore out of the mines. They have trucks that drive the ore to the, the railroad facility. And the railroad, this locomotive, carries the cars to the shipping facility where it goes into boats typically to go to end customers. So that, that's why it's here. It's part of their end-to-end -end solutions in mining. And this particular locomotive was first produced in 2005 and it's become very popular around the world for mining customers. Uh, Australia, North America, and uh, Middle East use these types of locomotives to pull mine products out. Well, this particular product is complying with US EPA Tier 3 standards and that required quite a bit of work over time to reduce the nitrogen oxides, the carbon monoxide and the hydrocarbon and particulate emissions from the engine. So we've done quite a bit of work and it complies with US EPA Tier 3 requirements. In the future there are Tier 4 requirements that are uh, legislated so we're working to have products that meet those requirements as well. This locomotive has an uh, engine that's rated at 4,400 horsepower for traction. It has an AC transmission system in it, so we, we make uh, electricity with an alternator driven by the engine, and that electricity is converted into variable frequency AC to drive the motors. The engine's an electromotive diesel designed two-stroke diesel engine, runs at 950 RPM. This locomotive has 200,000 pounds of starting tractive effort that's enabled by the AC traction. It weighs 428,000 pounds. That all helps pull these long trains that have the mine products in them. And this particular locomotive is uh, very efficient. It can move a ton of freight at least 500 miles on a gallon of diesel fuel, so it's very efficient. The cab in this locomotive is an isolated cab. The cab where the crew sits for many hours per day it sits on a suspension system that has a spring and shock absorber system. It also has rubber bushings on it to try to ensure a nice quiet ride for the crew that works on it. So that's a particular advantage of this locomotive. The AC traction system is a very highly reliable system, provides the 200,000 pounds of starting tractive effort and has uh, the ability to go up to 70 miles an hour. So that, those are performance features that are uh, uh, unique and important for this. It also is compliant with the uh, new crashworthiness standards to protect the crew. The nose is made out of uh, high strength steel and there's massive collision structures in the front that protect the crew. So the engine is, uh, is the hallmark of uh, being e easy to maintain. It's, uh, there's very little things on the outside of the engine to take off to be able to maintain it. The cylinder heads and pistons and liners come out as a unitized power assembly we call it so it's easy to replace those those moving parts within the engine. The design of the locomotive has been uh, made to be very easy to maintain. For example, the cooling system. There are two large cooling fans on the top. They can be taken out individually if you want. They can be taken out as a, as, as a pair on a structure. You can take the radiator section off all by itself too. And you can also take the hood off the back of the locomotive to easy access equipment inside of it. So there's a lot of time and thought put into how to maintain the product to make it easy to repair and get back out in service. For Caterpillar, the challenge of bringing its locomotive to Las Vegas has paid off. Customer interest was huge. However, the effort of moving the machine into the central hall of the exhibition center was just as enormous. 
It was very difficult to get this locomotive in the building. It was completely assembled at our London, Ontario factory and shipped by rail to a point close to this facility. Then it was lifted onto a very large flatbed truck that had 120 tires on it, I'm told. And then they, they drove it to this facility. Then there were some cranes, I think four small cranes or smaller cranes, picked it up and set it on the section of the track that it sits on. Mine Expo 2012 is presented by Joy Global. Joy Global, worldwide leader in products and services for surface and underground mining. Bauforum 24 TV. Construction in Motion.